uh, walk on a trail in the woods, leading to a discovery that brought out the bomb squad in Akron. And there are little kids down the street that play out here and stuff. So yeah, it, it, it's kind of scary. Sure was. Investigators say what was found could have hurt or even killed someone. News 5's Bob Jones tells us the search is on for the person behind it. A scary discovery on North Adams Street in Akron around noon yesterday. A woman walking near railroad tracks just off the Summit Metro Park's Freedom Trail found a bag. Thinking it was trash, she picked it up. But inside she found two improvised explosive devices wrapped in plumbing and called 911. It's got BBs all over and it's got a wick sticking out of it. I'm like, oh, hell no. This is going to kill somebody. The Summit County Bomb Squad responded and determined the IEDs were functioning. The squad took the devices to a bunker and no one was hurt. If it's a functioning device, obviously it could cause serious injury or even death. News of the bombs close to a park where children play and several homes startled both residents and people who regularly use the trail. Children play around here for one thing. I mean, how about if they took it home, right? It's crazy. This world's nuts. Everything's going on, you know. I mean, I don't know why anybody, especially around here, would make something like that. At this point, Akron police and the bomb squad are not saying what the explosive devices were made out of or releasing pictures of them because they say they don't want to give anyone ideas on how to make something that could hurt someone. But the bomb squad confirms shrapnel was attached to the IEDs. If it's got shrapnel on it, um, generally the, the intent of shrapnel is to harm someone. It can be a very crude or very rudimentary device and it could kill somebody. Last Friday, a resident found what he thought was an explosive device near railroad tracks off Goodyear Boulevard in Akron. But that turned out to be a hoax. But again, was it put there made to look like or to raise that level of uh, of caution or fear. For now, the focus is on figuring out who built the bombs and then left them near the trail. The FBI and ATF have also been notified. We want the public to be safe always. Certainly this did create, you know, a safety concern for the folks in the immediate area. And tonight, a warning to anyone who finds what looks like a suspicious device. Do not try to move these. Do not try to take care of them yourself. Just leave them where they are and contact the authorities. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.